Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Abhishek and today we will discuss passing an entire array to a function. Okay. This program is just similar to like a program we have already discussed. I'll give the link in the description. Just we are what we are doing in this video is we are passing the base address of the array into a function. Okay. In the previous video we have not taken a function. We were just simply displaying the values uh, in which we were accessing the array elements using pointers. Okay. So what we have done here is we are simply declared a array inside a main function and then well we are calling the display function and we are passing the base address of this array and we are also passing the length of the array okay this is important we have to uh, give the length of the array as well and in the display function we are taking a pointer int star j and we are taking a variable int n which will store the elements in the array that is 6 okay so what we are doing is we are running a loop from 0 to n which is length 0 to 6 okay 6 time it will run and while i is less than n we are simply printing the element value of the element star j since j is initially pointing to the base address of the array so it will print the first element okay star j means value at address so that will it will print first element then i will be incremented and j will be incremented j will be incremented this is a pointer arithmetic and it will point to the next location okay so it will first point to this location and then to this location so by using pointer arithmetic that is by using j++ this is pointer arithmetic you can see the video if you not seen that I will give you the link in the description okay so by using pointer arithmetic the pointer will keep on moving ahead and it will point to the value of same type so what will happen is the value will get minted okay we will simply display the value so this was a concept which we discussed in the previous video as well now we will see what actually happens inside uh, what actually happens how the uh, array which we write gets converted into the pointer notation by the compiler okay so this is the normal notation which we know int num equal to this but inside the compiler this is not happening what it's happening is it is getting converted into a pointer notation now we'll discuss this uh, let's see this also on mentioning the name of the array we'll get the base address as we have done this and num of 0 we can also write it as num simply this means the same thing this means the base address so num represents the base address okay so star num what this what will this star num represent star num will refer to the 0th element of the array okay so i can also write this as star num okay this is the one and the same thing i can also write it as star num plus 0 okay this statement is equivalent to this statement because num plus 0 is num only so star num plus 0 represents the 0th element of the array okay so it represents the 0th element similarly if i'll say star num plus 1 so it will represent to the it will represent the first element of the array okay if we'll have this array 0 1 2 3 this is the 0th element this is the first element this is the second and the third element okay so star num plus one means this element first element okay this is the index and similarly if i want if the, we have a long array and suppose i is the last index so if i'll say star num plus i that means it is the ith element of the array okay so this is what the c compiler internally does okay it converts the array into this pointer notation and since now we have learned that these notations are all same that star num and star num plus zero and num all these are same so we can write the value let's say so guys this is the notation of num of i that is star num plus i and this star num plus zero means the num of zero okay it is representing num of zero value if suppose the array name is num so num zero that is one it is representing the zeroth index that is the this value one so so guys now we can write num of i as star bracket num plus i okay and we can now reverse num of i can be also be written as i plus num okay and since we had num of i we will we were writing num here and i here and if i'll reverse the values i and num here and there with if i interchange the values what will happen is i can also write i of num num of i can also be written as i of num now okay so let's see it once again num of i can be written as num plus i if i'll reverse the value i plus num it is also equivalent to this only so i can also write num of i as i of num okay since num was coming here and i was coming here 
if you don't understand let's take one more method if i was here the last element which was here was coming here okay so if num is here we're writing num here and if i is here we're writing i here okay now guys to prove this thing that these all terms are equivalent and they are specifying the value of num of i we'll see an example and i'll implement it in the laptop okay so now let's see that example so guys now let's see the example which we are talking about let's say we have an integer now array we have declared it like this now let's say int i equals 0 so that we can run the loop okay we'll say while i is less than 6 okay let's say printf we'll print the address backslash and address equals let's say percentage u and we'll say and of and percent of num okay so this will print the address of this now we want to print the values okay let's copy paste here let's reuse our code now we simply say here what element equals we'll say mod d here let me copy paste this control c okay so we'll print the value as num of i first of all and then we'll say i of num okay and the third method is we'll say star of i plus num and the last one is star of num plus i okay so and we'll have to increment the value of i as well so that we can exit the loop later on let's move this printf okay so now let's see what's the output of this you can see the output is coming like this we have taken backslash n okay let me remove this so that it can come in few lines output can come in few lines okay so now let's execute this you can see the address is coming and the value of the element is getting printed to see it more clearer let's make some space in between now let's execute this you can see the output okay we are printing the value as num of i i of num 1 plus num star of i plus num and star of num plus i okay you can see the values it is getting printed 18 18 18 18 so this was the method by which we can print the values we can simply say num of i or we can say i of num you can also say star i of star of i plus num or star of num plus i okay so these were the methods hope you guys like this video guys if you like this video if you learn something new do subscribe to my channel like this video share this as much as you can and take care bye bye